Alrighty, let's get to work on our technical portion of the day. Remember day one was all about attacking shorter balls, sideways, second day, how do we run for a wide ball, loading our open stance. Third, uh, sorry, uh, third day was a combination, today is gonna be how do we move back, okay? So a lot of different situations where you have to move back because the ball is coming fast or it's coming too high, you wanna keep nice contact at your strike zone, okay? This is what we're doing, just learning how to move to the ball is gonna make you a way, way better player, okay? So first thing, we're gonna work on just setting up, we do a couple of uh, uh, reps on that, then we're gonna, do, we're gonna go to the loading piece, and then we're gonna go all the way to the racket, okay? So first thing, my home base is the green, the blue one is where I'm going to, so I'm gonna go here, split as I am turning, this step is gonna point towards my target, in this case, towards that direction. So I'm gonna go split and turn, and from here, you see my shoulder sideways, I'm just gonna shuffle, 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 hold from here and then shuffle, shuffle back, okay? And repeat, split, turn, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle forward, that's the setup. Split, turn, shuffle, shuffle, and shuffle back, okay? That's our exercise number one, all right? Now, exercise number two, I'm gonna actually throw the ball, or shadow actually, making sure that I'm loading, okay? And I'm gonna go split, turn, shuffle, shuffle. I am loading on my right leg, Similar to the open stance, I want to jump on my, on my right leg right now, belly button to the side, and I'm going to jump, and then shuffle forward, okay? One more time, turn here, shuffle forward, split, turn. If you remember from here, what I call this push and turn, push and extend, sorry. So I'm going to go semi open stance, that's what we're doing, loading on my right leg, push and then extend, you see how my jumping, my belly is turning, so I'm having good core rotation here, and then extend, shuffle, okay? That's gonna be your exercise number two. Exercise number three, our rackets. Yeah, I get really excited when I grab my racket. Anyway, I'm gonna do exact same thing. Remember, I am not shadowing fully because I don't have room. You guys, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find some, some room to do it, so same idea, nice split, Turn, my shoulders are turned, my foot is open, my hips are open, shuffle, shuffle, set up one leg, jump on that leg, okay? Boom, hop, hop, boom, hop, hop, split, turn, hop, hop, okay? That's gonna be our exercise three for this progression. All right, so we did the forehand, we did our progression, same deal with our back end, okay? So I have my uh, home base is the green, my blue is the where I'm going to. Remember, setup number one, throw number two, racket number three. Okay, same deal, nice wide base. I'm gonna go split, turn my shoulders, my hips are turned, my foot is open. Okay, split, turn, I'm gonna shuffle, shuffle, and that's it. One, split, turn, shuffle, shuffle, and that's it. Split, turn. Uh oh, I messed up. Split, turn, and then there, okay? That's gonna be there. Good quality, slow and control. Take your time to do split and turn. This step is gonna be huge. Shuffle, shuffle, okay? That's gonna be our basic. I know some of you will try to do the crossover step, which is good, it's great, but, uh, but today I'll, go, I'll keep it simple. I'm gonna do just the shuffle, okay? So uh, progression number two, I'm gonna start throwing, okay? So I'm gonna get ready position. Split, turn, shuffle, shuffle. Load my left leg right now. I told you, remember, I'm a little bit, I'm not really good at the open stance, so I need to focus hard on rotating my hips, okay? So I'm gonna go here, load, push up that leg, split, turn, hop, hop, hop. Shuffle forward, split, turn, hop, hop, hop. Shuffle forward, split. Turn, hop, hop, hop. Jumping off your outside leg, one more. Perfect. All right, last one, last progression of my backhand. This is what we're learning today. So I'm gonna use my rackets, remember. Uh, <clears throat> try to do your shadows as real as possible. So split, turn, nice open, hop, hop, hop. Load your outside leg and then push. 
Shuffle, long holes, split turn. Shuffle, split turn. Shuffle, split turn. Okay, um, that would be it for the technical piece. All right, so now it's time to put together. We have a spider right now. So green is gonna be my home base. I have a deep target, I have a wide target, and I have a short target. Of course, you can make these bigger, okay? My, my spider is really tiny, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is just forehands to start, and I'm gonna go wide, deep, and short. Every time I gotta go back to the middle, I wanna, this is, we don't need to do the setup, we're just gonna throw and or racket, whatever you feel more comfortable with, okay? So I'm gonna start here, nice home base, making sure you guys see the cones and you see my feet properly. So I'm gonna start wide, recover, uh, back, recover, forward, recover. So I'm gonna go split, turn, wide, recover, split, turn, hop, up, up, split, turn. Okay, good footwork, split, turn. Uh, nice push and throw, up, up, up. Split, turn, almost. And then you're gonna keep that intensity for 25 seconds, okay? Push it, push it, push it. Good footwork, nice crossover step here. Boom, crossover step to recover. Nice shoulder turn, sideways for the forward. And here, step back, shuffle. Loading, okay? We're gonna load really hard. That's gonna be one drill. So remember, throwing and or racket, okay? Great job. Wow, all right, this is pretty good. I mean, guys, this is something you can repeat and you repeat, you repeat, you repeat. Maybe you're struggling more with the forehand, open or the closed. Whichever you feel like, I need more work on that. Just do a couple extra reps, okay? So now, I don't have enough room to set up the whole spider because in the court I would just set three cones to your forehand, three cones to your back end, plus your home base, okay? So now I'm gonna uh, scoop to the side. I'm gonna be, my yellow is gonna be my home base right now. And I'm gonna go uh, open stance on the green. I'm gonna go deep on the blue, maybe move it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go attack on the red, okay? So simple, again, Throw or racket, both are good. Okay, so I'm gonna start here, split, turn, recover, split, tap, 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 split, bounce, split, crossover, crossover to recover, open, vamos, split. I'm gonna keep that intensity wide, back, deep, 25 seconds. Good intensity, guys, let's do it. All right, so after we've done two sets of forehands, okay, 25 seconds on, 50 off, then we're gonna go two sets of the back end, 25 seconds on, 50 off. If you were wondering why am I giving you 50 seconds off, because that's a ratio that we normally change, but I like that ratio right now for you to have good quality and good intensity. So 25 seconds like a real point, you push it as hard as you can, in a match, you're gonna have just 25 to recover. But right now, as we care about quality and we care about your heart rate dropping to a nice level where you can perform properly, that's why I'm doing it, okay? Just a little quote. Now, I told you I don't have enough room, but the next, the next exercise to do is actually do the full spider, okay? Full spider. So the way I want you to do, I'm gonna go a little tiny version of it. I'm gonna go split and turn, open stance here. Then split and turn, open stance here. Then I'm gonna go back. Then I'm gonna go back. Then I'm gonna go forward. Then I'm gonna go forward. And you keep that intensity for 25 seconds. So remember, I'm gonna go open stance on my forehand, recover. Open stance on my back and recover. Deep forehand, recover. Deep back end, recover. Short forehand, recover. Short back end, recover. You make this spider bigger, okay? You put the intensity up, throwing or actually swinging. Let's do it, let's get better. All right, so now let's, let's do the fun part. Uh, you need a partner, you need somebody to help you with this, okay? Could be your dad, your friend, your wife, your husband, your daughter, your son, whoever. 
is uh, with you who can help you, okay? So now it's gonna be random because in an actual match, you don't have that repetition, okay? So you have this, this, the, the setup, you have the colors, uh, it could be just deep, wide, or, or, or short. You can make it a little bit tougher just with the colors, okay? So I'm gonna have my wife help me with this. She's gonna yell out one color. If it's green, I'm gonna go open stance back end. If it's um, red, I'm gonna short back end. If it's uh, blue, same deal, okay? With the ball, with the racket, 25 seconds, good intensity. So I'm gonna start here, bounce on my feet. You ready? Blue. Ah! For God, ready, go. Blue. Red. Louder, please. Red. Green. intensity. Let's do it. I'm gonna go quick feet. She's gonna yell color. Let's do it. Blue. <laughs> Blue. Blue. She doesn't like me guys. Again, have your friend uh, make that random. You can do the full spider so you have more colors. You can go a wide forehand, short backhand. You can make as many combinations as you want. And, and basically this is just gonna help you load properly, get better as you recognize where to go, how to load, okay? So keep that intensity. Remember two, three sets of, tw of 25 seconds. And that would be it for the technical work.